guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm actually going to be taking you guys on my driving test route so i'm literally parked up at the test center right now um, i've got to move because i'm in like the private car park part like, i'm not actually allowed to park it but i want to start at the actual test test center so here we are but yeah let's start driving let's get out of this car park and let's go on my test route so when you come ahead this is a really dodgy test route and then you've got to check the vets because it's really dodgy. Do you know the amount of people that fail coming out of the test centre or going back into the test centre? It's actually ridiculous. I think they're getting a new test centre now. But yeah, and then the first roundabout you got there is literally a zebra crossing. Pedestrian crossing? Zebra crossing? I don't know what we call them. On every single exit. No matter what exit you come off the roundabout, there is a zebra crossing. I went round here and this I think is where I got a minor because I was in third gear and I should have been in second because my car went all jolty but I quickly changed down to second but I got a minor for gears and I have a feeling that, that was the one that I got it for. I'm not going to do all the bits where they make you pull in to the side of the road and stuff because you know I did that like four times I'm not pulling in the side of the road like four times. Pretty soon in a minute we're actually going to be go doing the parking that I did. And this is the shittest car park you will come in. The entrance for it is fucking ridiculous. It's so tight, it's actually a joke. I got asked to do a reverse bay park down here, so I went around here. Let's have a go. Am I gonna do I in my in my test I smashed my parallel parking. I won't lie to you. It was a top, top tier park. Do you know what? I'll take that. That's not a bad park. I'm in the lines. And that's all that matters. First bit park was kind of the parking that I didn't want to do. Like, even when I practiced it, like, I was fine doing it. But I think it's just the thought of doing it backwards, like, reversing. I'm like, I could fuck this up so easily but um luckily it actually went really good so proud i actually got in the wrong lane at this roundabout coming up because i wasn't sure how the lanes were so i actually um went that way i was meant to go right um, but we just did a U-turn, so I'm just gonna go where I, we ended up going anyway. As long as I do it safely, it does not matter. It doesn't look that busy, but you've got, you know, and there's like continuous traffic, it just doesn't seem to stop. Okay, this, I panicked here. Not pan, a little bit panicked. So basically, we were turning right at uh, this next round, so I had to get in the right lane, so I had to switch over, but there was no gaps, like, at all, and if you know, like, in your driving test, you're not allowed to indicate if you can't go, because it's, they say it's, like, blocking or, like, stopping traffic or something. I was like, I'm, I can't get over, and she was like, she was like, I can't say anything, just do what you would normally do. So I ended up in this lane, and I pay. In my head, I was like, should I go right round in this lane, or should I think? And, obviously if i'd have gone right round in this lane i would have failed because like that's the wrong lane but so i ended up going all the way round so i'll show you so we went round here and then i went over here and then we did a u-turn at this roundabout Instead, we went all the way around. So I basically just made all my driving stack it longer. But my mouth was so dry in my test, is actually a drink. Like, I was sat there and I was literally like, you could use my mouth as like a fucking nail file. You know, it was that dry. This was the bit coming down into this village was the part where I nearly failed on. 
turn because I didn't. Oh. Coming down this country road, this road isn't 60. You shouldn't, it should not be a 60. How should you go further down? There's potholes for fucking days. That it should not be a 60. My driving instructor said no one's going to drive 60 on this road. But anyway, I nearly failed my test on here because I went 20 miles per hour when there was people behind me. Today, we're going to recreate the test and also go slow because it's also icy. So I really don't want to die. Like, look at the fucking poles on that bad boy. My examiner said she gave me the benefit of the doubt because it was really muddy and a bit wet. So big up, big up her because if she didn't give me the benefit of the doubt, I'd have probably failed. But I got two minors for um, this road, I'm pretty sure. For what do they call it? Speed when or a when? I don't know what they call it. But in my test, I I was shitting myself. And there was a part of me that I knew I was going slow, but there was also a part of me in my head I was like, if I go any faster, will she fail me because of the type of road it is? It's a bit of a shitty road. Like, and I didn't actually know what the speed limit was. Because apparently I'm not great at reading speed signs. That was always a problem in my lessons. I hate this village so much. That was a very cute dog though. Yeah, I pulled up just outside this pub when to do one of the, you know, when they get you to pull in and then just move off again. I did that just outside this pub. The moon and sixpence. Big up. That's a nice house. Didn't notice that one on my test. At least I didn't meet a bin lorry. Because nearly every time we come through here on my left driving lessons, there was a fucking bin lorry. And I was shitting myself here because I thought there is, if you do something fucked right next to the school, there is no fucking way you're getting away with it. Because you know, the school, you know, it's safety, isn't it? And we kept going straight round these roundabouts. Do you know the relief I felt when we got back to the test centre? Like, my god, I, I mean, obviously I didn't know if I'd pass or fail, but I was like, thank fuck it's over, like, get me out of this car. I don't know what the speed limit is, and there is a speed camera. It's 30 or 40, and I'm really not sure which one it is. Let's just go past the 30. <laughs> <laughs> Get far enough away. Okay, I think, I think we're good. Oh, this roundabout stressed me because you have to be in like two lanes. No, there is, you could go in both lanes and my instructor told me to go in a specific lane because it doesn't really make sense the way that it works because you're going straight over but you go in the right. Um, and I did it. My God, when I did, when I did it, I got stressed, and I think I said I was like, oh, I'm not sure what lane. And I think she told her, I was like, I don't know what lane. But obviously, she couldn't tell me. But like, the actual stress, man, I was, because I was like, I know what he's, he's said something to me, but I can't, I couldn't remember which, which one he'd said to me. She was like, she was like, I'm 
pleased to know you passed and I was like oh yeah <laughs> and then she gave me my little certificate and I was like oh she took my provisional license yeah changed to a driving license my guy it was it was great but yeah um, that is actually the end of my test room obviously I say this in all my videos at the moment but if you have got a test booked good luck for it um hopefully you pass I keep my fingers crossed for you um but yeah, unfortunately that's the end of today's video. Follow me on Instagram at chl underscore dot oe. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I'll see you, or will see you, in my next video. Bye!